Gay Nation! Gay! Nick! And we are here today to bring you another installment of Cricket Tuesday! Oh, the time is impeccable. We are professionals, ladies and gentlemen. Impeccable. Impeccable timing. And we are here today for a video for Cricket Tuesday about an English great. I was thinking about it, Game, and I was trying to think what should we do this week. And I don't think we have really any English greats. We got a lot of Australian greats. got a lot of West Indy greats. We got a lot of uh, Indian greats, right? We have some Pakistan greats. We have some New Zealand greats. I don't know if we had really any. We've talked about Joe Root, right, at length. We've Huge. talked about Ben Stokes. But I don't know if we've ever had a highlight package or a video dedicated. So today we're looking at a Mr. Ian Botham. And Ian Botham is not, it's a, it's a name I've heard before. Absolutely. But it's not a name that I know a lot about. And as I was doing some research for it, it turns out that he's considered one of the greatest all-rounders in the game of tests. And you can throw some ODI in there because surprisingly, he stopped playing 1992 test. They didn't have T20 at that time. That was about 10 years too soon, 15 years too soon. Oh my. But this guy, serious all-rounder. And the question I want to ask right off the bat for everyone that knows about Ian Botham. I want, or is it is it Ian Botham? I'm not sure. Sometimes I, I, I think there was Ian Botham. Could be Botham too. Could be Botham. I want to say I've heard Botham before though. I'm not exactly sure why. The question is, and the audience hates when we do this. Was he known more for his batting or for his bowling? Because he had over five thousand runs and a little more than a hundred tests, but he had almost four hundred wickets. It's four hundred wickets and a hundred tests. It's bro. There's guys. Jeez Louise. I mean, you got to think of it this way, right? I want to say the second leading scorer. Uh, a, a wicket taker of all time for England is Stuart Broad. One being Jimmy Anderson, right? Jimmy Anderson's number one. Yeah. Stuart Broad's number two. And I want to say Broad is only at like... He's at six. 600. So Isn't he? For, yeah, five? For, maybe at 500. Maybe Jimmy Anderson's at 600. Yeah, well, yeah, Jimmy's at yeah, six because yeah, yeah. they... Six and some change. Six and change. Like I thought last time I saw it was like 611 or 620, something like that. Um, But uh, yeah, so this guy is literally... 100 down from the second leading wicket taker of all time for England. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, let, let, let's figure this out right now. Let's see where Real time, ladies parents. and gentlemen. Real time. We are Best so, in the business. We are so planned. Best in the business. Okay. So you got yourself Jimmy Anderson number three, baby. Oh, 675. Jimmy, Jimmy. That's the conversation. Can he broad get to 560? Oh, I can see Broad shoot, getting to, broad. to 600. Easily. I think Jimmy is just going to push himself, will himself. He to has to get to 700. That's a magic number yes. right there. And you got a, a Mr. Botham right there. Um, I'm not sure what number that is, but let's see how many England names. He's number three so all time. So he's three all time for that, tests. That's impressive. Super that's impressive. impressive. And a guy that played 80s and 90s, I, or late 70s, early 90s, and everything in between. I don't know what the traveling schedule was like. I don't know how many games were permitted. If it's the same number of test games in the year, this year or this current time, let us know. I don't know there's a disadvantage to opportunities playing back then, but you would assume, right? You would assume that maybe the opportunities weren't as prevalent as they are now with all the test playing nations. I don't know. Maybe it's the same since then. I'm very curious if you want to let us know about that. But yes, third all-time English wicket taker. Or, no, wicket, yeah, wicket taker. I almost thought I was saying wicket keeper. But also, he's considered one of the best all rounder at most 5,000 runs. You get a 10,000, you're in legendary status. That is that is crazy. That is crazy. So, I mean, obviously, you know, it's so tough, right? Because I'm partial to bowling. So, for me, you are? Bro, <laughs> you are. Come on. Anyone, anyone can hit a six, all right? Well, listen. Oh, I was about to attack somebody. I said I would no longer attack. Have you, have you not heard of. And he's really hot right now with the wicket taking. You ever heard not of a Sir Siraj? A Lord Siraj? Siraj. Have you seen him hit a six? Listen, I've seen Boomer hit a six. Well, Boomer six? knocked the okay. cover off the ball a few times. But to take those wickets, bro, it's such <laughs> you an... You think Im Siraj has any intent? Lord Siraj. <laughs> but it, you know what I mean? When you take oh those wickets, Nick, it's such a big... There's only 10 of them. There's only 10 of them. And it's such a, 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 an important thing. It is such a big facet of the game. So, for instance, in Australia, Counting Green, right? People are like, oh, when he's good, hot with the bat, he can't take wickets. He's, he's going to bring he's RCB wickets, their first title. Yo, oh gosh, God forbid. But uh, he, Nick won't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Nick won't know what to do with himself if RCB wins the title. I'll have a huge poster the size of this wall. Of oh, a Cam, Cam Green. Green. 
But to me, I'm sorry. Focus on taking those wickets. Batting is just a plus. You got to take those wickets. You got to take I those wickets. And, man, I'm excited to check out some video on this guy. Um, You know. But see, don't you think, not to cut you off, but you bring up a great point. Don't you think cricket is the best because it has the all rounding? Because you don't ever have to hit and bowl relatively at the same time. Right. You have your whole innings where your team's batting. You throw yourself in there like in the middle. I'm not sure what number he was in. I'm, I'm assuming five or six. But if you throw yourself in the middle there, then you have a break in between each of them to rest before you go back out to bowling, right? With bowling, you're kind of filtered in throughout the entire innings. Right. But you get that break. Unlike in baseball where it's like you could, when they used to have pitchers bat, you would bat the last out of the previous inning, and you're right back on the mound. You might have been running around with the jacket on or whatever. I know, de definitely. I mean, uh, uh, the only person now that does that is Otani, who's just oh, an all-time legend. Yeah, it's himself. slowing him down. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, Otani. Gosh. But if you don't know who Otani is, baseball player, look it up. You'll be – he's – he's Legendary. The guy's legendary already. And he's yes. only been playing, what, this is his fourth year maybe? But he's a two-way player. Stupid Angels. And, stupid Angels, I know. They're going to ruin his career. He's wasting. Wasting away. But it's like playing for RCB. You'll never get a title. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, God. Oh, the dig. The that dig. Was, that the was dig. nice. On that, you're going to go into timeout. Let's go ahead and check out this. This is from Lord. At minute. Oh, God. Four. No, it's got to be at least seven minutes. Seven minutes in? At least. Yes. We don't have the timestamp, so we have no idea. But <laughs> it says uh, Ian Botham at his best. Eight wickets versus who? Oh, for Pete's sake. You did this on purpose. <laughs> you did this on purpose. <laughs> now I really hate you. West Indies, baby. Listen, we gave him his Malcolm Marshall day. He knew he was going to pay for it. And this is actually the same year. This might actually be the same test series, whether it or not. Because that was against England. When it was did. against England. I oh. think this might be the same series. So oh, God you give me a Marshall? I'll throw you a Botham. How dare you? And he, one of his nicknames was Beefy. People call Beefy. me Beefy all the time. Yeah, I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, please, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out some other Cricket Tuesday videos. Here we go. We pick up play now with Ian Botham's over from the nursery end. <laughs> is that calisthenics or is he directing the crowd or the audience or the defense? His placement. Well done. Good Slips. catch. Oh, they said he was also known as a fielder to always be in the slip. And Botham breaks through. Must have those sure hands. Look at that hair. I mean, that's like Tim Allen, like oh. in the heyday of home improvement. Oh, that's a professional mullet right there. End, and we'll see this just on or around off stump goes down the hill. You gotta pay attention to how they say his name too. Edge, and there's Miller two-handed to his right. Good catch. Oh, picture perfect. That's how you teach him. Oh. It's gone. Oh, that was high. Show me the no, replay. That, that was high. That was Bro, that thing was I like the celebration. practically in his stomach. We see it from the bowler's end. See how high, high, high. Uh, okay. Come back and hit him it's, just it's actually, it's, the it might be that. at that, that borderline. I'm not going to lie. It's higher than I thought. Oh, are you kidding me? Now, was he at a slip or was he at the... Yeah, he's uh, at silly point. Silly point? Oh, is that short leg, short oh. leg. I couldn't see where the batter was at, but the announcer said short leg. The silly point would be, what, directly in front of him on the other side. It looks like Joe Root a little bit, doesn't he? He does, he does. The guy next to him? Jackson, that ball just in there yeah. long enough. No, he's at short leg. Yeah, look at that. Got the helmet on. Oh, and that ball died. And he threw one arm. That was a nice play. Yeah, silly points when they're over there on the other side, right next to him. They're facing him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say, did he just edge that again? These guys cannot get the bat on the ball. That sounds like a ball clap to me. Both of them, both of them. Yeah, you were right. As of old. Five overs, 21 runs, three wickets. Oh, that's Jesus. That's nice. He's economical. Oh, what was that? You want the smoke? <laughs> Taste of the smoke? Medicine? Oh, look who it was, too. Oh, okay. Oh, and you know Viv don't play. Look at his back, bro. Why would you even throw something at Viv Richards? That's how high. Oh. Oh, whoa. What's going on? What's the smoke? Okay. Yes. He had to curate the ground that far up. Wow. Remember, he's a fast bowler. Viv Richards, no helmet. That's good thinking. Viv was reaching on that. What was he doing? He wanted to, he wanted to, to smash him. Yeah. 
both of them though. You could see when oh. he's running up, bro. He's thick, bro. Oh, oh that has some English ah! on it. Yeah, no pun intended. Oh! That was a joke like that. Wheel from both them. Like this dude got me. And uh, Vivian doesn't look all that happy. Both them choked off his appeal, and I think some of the others did as well. Richards is gone for 72. So this one 72. How are you wearing a sweater vest and I can still see your pectoral muscles? Yeah, that's just oh, that's clean. That's clean. That's LBW. That's clean. Uh, He's hot right now. Like, yo, this dude just got a bounce all over my head. Whew. Oh, Catacorn. Another bouncer up. Another great moment. Oh. Masterful bowling. Dude, these guys could have been in the White Earth movie with that hair. That's beautiful. Top edge and a very simple catch to Fowler. Oh, the cap. You made him look foolish there. Wow. Was he using his armpits to shine the ball? You see that red underneath his armpit? They're, they're trying to shine it anywhere they can. Some of that perspiration. Bro, they say beefy, but I say he's stick, bro. We call that country strong. <laughs> yeah. There's a six pack somewhere under there. He gave little kisses. Four maidens. Wow. 73 runs, six wickets. Oh. Wow. That's what we call Burley right there. Now by Mike Gettin at uh, short extra cover. That's weird. He goes for eight, and now it's 231 for eight. So a sensational day for the oh, they shut him down to eight runs. 231 for eight. Great you know, he hit that nicely, too. It was just right. They had a fielder right there. This was an awkward spot. Well done. Oh! oh. And that's one of the four he's horsemen well. of death right there. And Garner. Looks like oh. he has oven mitts on. Even better. Go down goes that Garner. Eight. Now, to be Both. fair, Garner was a bowler, right? He's one of the four horsemen, but still. Is that the excuse? That's my only excuse. I don't know what to tell you, bro. He Listen. Made, made Richard look silly. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm not a bowler expert. I'm not a bowling expert. But from my viewpoint, it looks like he had... I can never get it right whether it's a swing or whether it's whatever else. But it looked like he had some swing on that. Maybe reverse right. swing. I'm not exactly sure which one it was. But it had some movement on that. Right. And he's a pace bowler, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But... um. They don't pay attention to that either. But that was nice. I mean, he was fooling them. He was getting them every which way. We saw just about every type of wicket except for a run out, which the bowlers aren't going to get credit for that. Right. Eight wickets out of ten. Did and you earn his paycheck? Did anybody else show up? Where's the everybody slips. else? The slips with some nice catches. Uh, the slips. Oh, we've seen it go awry. Oh, my gosh. I think that here's the thing. Watching him dispatch Viv Richards was so interesting because Viv Richards is a man. Everybody knew he's just cooler than a cucumber. And he starts him off and throws that rattle him. Throws that bounce over his head. And then you see them talking slick back to back he and forth up. to each other. He did a little Steve Smith ready the ground way up there. You know, and you can see them chirping. But then he sets him up because he goes from the bouncer, high to low, and then, okay, I'm going to go low. And he gets him with the lower LBW where, you know, you're expecting Viv Richards. Maybe he's going to attack and throw another high a bouncer. But no, while you're looking up here, your eyes are mm. up here now, I'm going to come and attack you down there. He set him up. And, I mean, here's the thing. When you're Viv Richards, you got to protect your head, man, because you're not wearing a helmet. That was one of the craziest things to me. That's not a spinner out there, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, that is a pace bowler throwing gas. And he's up there with no helmet. So you have to, like, okay, you're going to be uh, uh, flinching. You are. You're going to flinch and you just, oh, it's not at my head. And then the other guy where he does bowl it at his head, guys, like, you're almost going to, if he just ducks and let it get, to, get, get under him or whatever, or whatever, it's a dot ball or whatnot. But he's going to try to protect himself by reflex, top edge, easy. Yeah. Wick. Like, he is so good at just Man, using those bouncers and using his, 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 Intimidating, basically, is all I can say. Intimidating bowlers and being able to get those wickets. Now, I mean, the fact that he was an all-rounder and can contribute, like you said, 10,000 is the, the pinnacle, right, uh, as far as runs are concerned. Yeah. And, I mean, he's right up there. Uh, wow. Wow. Right now, I don't think England has anyone that's, I mean, Ben Stokes, right, all-rounder. Ben, ben Stokes. Stokes is not. Joe Root's run machine. You know, Joe, I would say Stokesy, he has his moments with the ball, but he's more of a, of a batting, you know what I mean, all-rounder for the most part. 
And I don't think that for, there's too many guys right now that are that that, that dominant as we just saw there. Because again, Nick, that is that is something absolutely disgusting right there. That that is insane. And I'm curious right now as we're talking. I'm curious about the run scored all time now in Test. I'm curious because again, five thousand. He's not going to be near the top. But I'm curious who is for England at the top with run scored of all time. So obviously you got Sasha in there, number one with his 15,000 runs, almost 16,000 runs. Ricky Ponting. Oh, at Rod David. Sir Andrew Cook. Is that Alistair Cook? Oh, Alistair Cook, right? Then you got Joe Root. He's already hit the 10,000. I thought he had hit that earlier. Oh, Joe Root. Gooch. Don't know him, but cool name. And then you go down and you see some other ones like Kevin Peterson, 8,000 runs. So, you know, he's not going to be even in the top five, but he played 100 tests. You know, in comparison, you look at the top score, Alistair Cook, 160 tests. So he had 60 more tests. I don't know if he's getting 7,000 runs and 60 more tests. Right. Alistair Cook was a beast, but might be a future person to do a video on. But still, to your point, all-rounder, super, super impressive. Third all-time for England wicket taken. Wicket takers, and then obviously 5,000 runs. Question is, for English cricket fans out there, besides the modern active players right now, who do you consider to be the best of all time? Because the list Ooh. I looked up when I asked Google that question, Alistair Cook wasn't the top three. That's but they had, a bu they had a bunch of guys like from way back when we have no video on, like 1900s, all that kind of stuff, early 1900s, 1800s. Who would you consider, if you're a historian cricket, who would you consider to be the best all-around player, the best run scorer, the best wicket, take, wicket, wicket taker? Obviously, you have those names, but do you consider those people? Let us know. Comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we know all things.